to everyone uh, i am manas ranjan behra today i am going to give a talk on carbonization of coal the subject is fuel and refractories and the topic is carbonization of coal the outline of this topic consist of introduction types of carbonization mechanism of coal carbonization ltc and stc introduction so first of all before going to the real topic i'll give an idea about what is carbonization of coal and what is the aim of this carbonization why we should go for carbonization carbonization of coal means heating of coal in absence of air to produce coke is called carbonization that means we have to heat the coal at high temperature in the absence of air so what we will get by heating the coal in the absence of air at high temperature we get coke this is also known as coke making process carbonization is also known as coke making process and the main purpose of carbonization is to produce coke with some other gases and the gases are known as co products and what are the gases it is cocoban gas and other important gas now i'll tell you why we are going for carbonization you may ask a question sir if we if we heat the coal in the presence of air what will happen then i will tell you that if you heat the coal in the presence of air you will not get coke but you will get ash that's why we do here what we make the coal in the absence of air <clears throat> next types of carbonization what are the different types of carbonization carbonization is divided into two types with respect to the temperature first one is low temperature carbonization second one is high temperature carbonization in a short form we write low temperature carbonization as ltc and high temperature carbonization as htc then we go for the most important part of this topic that is mechanism of carbonization how this coke is formed by heating coal when we start heating the coal in the absence of air in the absence of air at around 100 degree centigrade what happens the moisture present inside the coal is removed as you know moisture can be removed at a temperature at around 100 degree centigrade after that what happens slowly we increase the temperature of heating at around 270 degree centigrade other gases and h2s gases also removed from the coal then we slowly increase the temperature at around 350 to 400 degree centigrade when this coal is heated we get some changes inside the coal we get some changes inside the coal and various physico chemical changes occur various physico chemical changes occur and the raw coal slowly starts to fuse slowly starts to fuse in this temperature around 400 degree centigrade when the coal fuses after that when you increase the temperature there is a plastic layer formed there is a plastic layer formed and that plastic mass is very soft that plastic mass is very soft and this plastic mass is also known as 
के किंग कोल वाई बिकॉज इट इज सॉफ्ट एंड वेरी लाइक प्लास्टिक इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड के किंग कोल आफ्टर दैट वेन यू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर आट अराउंड फोर फिफ्टी टू सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दिस कोक इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सेमी कोक दिस कोक इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू सेमी कोक दैट सेमी कोक इज ए प्रोडक्ट हुईच इज फाउंड आट अराउंड फोर फिफ्टी टू सिक्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड दैट मीन्स बाई लो टेम्परेचर कार्बोनाइजेशन वी गेट ए प्रोडक्ट दैट इज कॉल्ड सेमी कोक and at that temperature we get also domestic fuel which is used as domestic fuel and after that we increase the temperature at around 1100 degree centigrade at higher temperature coke is formed which develops cracks in the middle of coke mass when further heated at higher temperature what happens coke is formed as already i have told you initially the moisture is removed after that some other gases is removed at around 450 degree centigrade uh, plastic layer forms which is uh, very soft after that we when we increase the temperature at around 600 degree centigrade semi coke is formed which is a product of low temperature carbonization and after further heating at higher temperature we get the product which is called coke which is called coke now you can see stages of coal carbonization what are the different stages we get in the formation of coal carbonization there are three different stages stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 in the stage 1 what happens the coal is decomposed or primary breakdown of coal occurs and that is at around 700 degree centigrade and while the decomposition occurs the products like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide h2s paraffins etc are formed then comes second stage in the second stage what happens the secondary thermal reaction among these liberated primary products as they pass through hot coke along hot oven walls and through highly heated free space in the oven involves both synthesis and degradation in the stage 3 what happens progressive removal of hydrogen from residue in the oven produces hard coke hard coke means in this stage the coke formed is very strong hard and very useful for metallurgical purpose now i will discuss about some salient features of ltc and stc that is low temperature carbonization and high temperature carbonization first i will tell about low temperature carbonization it is done mainly for manufacturing of domestic smokeless fuel as i have already discussed in the mechanism of carbonization the semi coke is formed which is a product of low temperature carbonization the other products of low temperature carbonization of coal are semi coke low temperature tar liquor spirit and gas high temperature carbonization it is used for making metallurgical coke our main aim is to produce metallurgical coke which is done by high temperature carbonization there are two types of coke ovens used for uh, high temperature carbonization that is number 1 is beehive coke oven and number 2 is by product coke oven salient features of ltc salient feature means what are the important aspects important points of low temperature carbonization first number 1 is it is carried out at around 700 degree centigrade it is carried out at around 700 degree centigrade and next important point is it produces semi coke as semi coke is produced at around 700 degree centigrade the yield of coke oven gas here the by products are coke oven gas 
and the yield the production of cocoa gas is very less it is about 150 to 160 newton meter cube ton per ton of dry coal yield of tar is high here the tar content is very high in low temperature carbonization we get high percentage of tar that is it is about 10% of dry coal used it is about 10% of dry coal that is used the ammonia yield is low here ammonia production is low as compared to high temperature carbonization and the most important aspect is the coke produced in low temperature carbonization is very weak is very weak the size is big and are more reactive and are more reactive that's why the product of low temperature carbonization that is semi coke cannot be used for metallurgical purpose next the volatile matter content in coke is more that is 5 to 7 percent why as you know the volatile products can be removed at a very high temperature in this case we use up to 700 degree centigrade at 700 degree centigrade all the volatile products cannot be removed some of the volatile products remains behind in the coke and that's why the volatile matter content in the coke is more as compared to high temperature carbonization next the hydrogen content in coke coke one gas is less here the hydrogen content is less that is around 35 to 40 percent coke yield is more we get high percentage of coke in case of low temperature carbonization it is around 80 percent of the dry coal the calorific value of coke oven gas produced is around 6000 to 6500 kilo calorie per newton meter cube that means during the low temperature carbonization the coke oven gas gives high calorific value next the density of coke oven gas is more here the gas that is produced has high density that is around 0.65 kg per newton meter cube and the free carbon content in tar the free carbon content in tar is less next now i will go to high temperature carbonization and out of these two carbonization process low temperature carbonization and high temperature carbonization the uh, importance of high temperature carbonization for metallurgical industries is very high very more and we focus on that high temperature carbonization why it is called high temperature carbonization because it is carried out at around 1100 degree centigrade next and by this process we get our product what is our product our product is metallurgical coke metallurgical coke is produced at around 1100 degree centigrade and the yield of coke oven gas is more in this case coke oven gas produced is more as compared to low temperature carbonization that is about 290 to 300 newton meter cube per ton of dry coal and the production of tar in this case is less as compared to low temperature carbonization here the tar produced is 3% of the dry coal the ammonia yield is also more here the ammonia production is more as compared to low temperature carbonization calorific value of coke oven gas produced is around 4200 to 4400 kilo calorie per newton meter cube 
नेक्स्ट इंपोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट फाइनली वी गेट द मेटालॉजिकल कोक इन दिस प्रोसेस एंड आवर एम इज फुलफिल्ड व्हाट इज आवर एम आवर एम इज टू प्रोड्यूस ए वेरी स्ट्रांग कोक व्हिच इज व्हिच इज गॉट इन दिस प्रोसेस दैट इज स्ट्रांग कोक देन द साइज ऑफ कोक इज स्मॉल एंड लेस रिएक्टिव व्हिच इज आवर एम आवर एम वाज टू प्रोड्यूस ए स्ट्रांग हार्ड कोक and who should not be very reactive <clears throat> next the volatile matter content in coke is less in this case the volatile matter is around 1 to 2% because why as already i have told you volatile matter is removed at around 900 degree to 1100 degree centigrade and here we get that temperature at that temperature the volatile matter present inside the coal is removed and we get less volatile matter in case of high temperature carbonization now the hydrogen content in cocoban gas is more in case of low temperature carbonization the hydrogen content was around 35 to 40% here the hydrogen content is around 55 to 60% and the coke yield is less in case of low temperature carbonization it was around 80% here it is about 75% of the dry coal the density of cocoban gas produced is less that is about 0.45 kg per newton meter cube and free carbon free carbon present in tar is more now i will give a summarization of this carbonization of coal what we have discussed during this time first we have given the definition of carbonization of coal what is carbonization of coal carbonization of coal means the heating of coal in the absence of air at high temperature is known as carbonization of coal which is also known as coke making process you can say carbonization of coal means it is a coke making process it is also called as destructive distillation process so the coal is converted into coke by a process which is called coke making which is also called carbonization of coal and carbonization in the carbonization of coal what happens the thermal decomposition of coal occurs by the thermal decomposition of coal some products we get and some products also removed and we get the final product that is called metallurgical coke which is our aim our aim is to produce metallurgical coke which is used in different metallurgical industries then uh, salient features of ltc and stc what are the different uh, aspects of low temperature carbonization and what are the different aspects of high temperature carbonization we have discussed here and i think uh, you might get some idea about this carbonization of coal which is a very important topic and you should know because in your uh, engineering subject metallurgical engineering subject and fuel and refractories this is a very important topic all should uh visualize and know this topic which is uh, very much required for your engineering purpose with this i conclude my topic thank you